Mm. Right here. Oh, Kathy, I just saw this new lipstick on your dresser. Would you mind if I use it? Of course not. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. It's such a yummy shade. Mm. Oh, isn't love grand? Mm. <laughs> I was going out to lunch with Pat. Nice kid, Pat. They make a lovely couple. Yes, welcome. I sure wish he'd hurry up and propose. Yeah. Propose. <laughs> propose? You want Pat Hannigan to propose to my daughter? Sure, and why not? What's wrong with a nice Irish lad like Pat? Sure, and a lot of things are wrong with a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's thing gotten that serious? Where have you been, Dad? No kidding. That's a good question. Where have I been? You know, this would happen to me. It's just my luck. She'd wind up marrying an entertainer. Why can't she marry a nice guy like, like a, a lawyer, a doctor, or a dentist, or something secure? Oh, honey, you're being silly. What's silly? Don't you want your daughter to have a nice, secure life? You want her to marry a show business guy? Traveling on the road, never know where your next job is coming from? Living out of a suitcase? If she marries a, a, a dentist, that's different. Well, what's so different about it? Did you ever hear of a dentist sitting around waiting for his agent to call and say, hey, doc, I got an extraction for you in Cleveland? Honey, <laughs> if Pat were a dentist, a lawyer, or anything else, you'd still find fault. You just don't like the idea of losing your daughter. Well, now, now, admit it. Where could she find a nicer boy than Pat? Has she tried the city dump? <laughs> I think Pat has countless virtues. Yeah, but he's got one big fat flaw. Wants to marry my daughter. Honey, let's face it. That's one battle you're going to lose. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. One thing about it. She'll marry the guy she loves, whether he's an entertainer or an aardvark. Probably be an aardvark, because Pat is apparently not in any hurry to propose. What are you talking about? Come back, you know. I'm thinking. What do you mean he's not in a hurry to propose? What are you waiting for? Well, I don't know, darling. I don't talk to her about it. It makes her too miserable. I just don't bring the subject up. You mean he's... Well, who does he think he is dangling my daughter on a string? <laughs> Brother, when it comes to going from one extreme to another... Well, I'll tell him a thing or two. Now, listen. Don't you dare. Now, just relax, kid. Just relax. I mean, I'll drop a little hint. You know, it always works. A little hint from the old man. Pretty soon he'll be saying, when I see you in the library, sir... And he asked me for Terry's hand in marriage, and I say, can you afford to support her in the manner in which she is accustomed? And he says, no. And I say, good, marry her. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right after lunch, I'll fix the whole Darling, thing. Darling, sweetheart, yeah. if you butt in and mess up this little romance, I'll cut your throat. <laughs> See, what's the matter with a little hint? Oh, honey, for heaven's sakes. Don't you think Terry has any pride? Do you think she'd accept a man that had to be prodded into proposing? For your information, my beautiful wife, every man has to be prodded into proposing. Oh, yeah? Who prodded you? You. <laughs> I certainly did not. All right, now, but... All right, Irish, let's say I prodded you into prodding me, okay? Oh, shut up. No, but seriously, honey, don't butt in. And don't let Terry know we've been discussing her love life. Oh, come on. What do you think? I'm tactless or something? Give me a little credit for having diplomacy, huh? Well, how do I look? Oh. Well, if it isn't the little lovely bride-to-be. <laughs> honey, you better run along. You're going to be late. Uh, in a second, Kathy. Uh, Daddy. Yes, dear? Remember when I was a teenager and I'd get crushes, and because you were such a wonderful, loving father, you used to try to help me? Yes, dear, I remember. I lost small boyfriends that way. <laughs> and if you butt in this time, I'll never speak to you again. Oh, Terry, for goodness sake. What's the matter with, a, with a, a tactful hint at the psychological moment? Don't you want this boy to say to me, may I see you in the library, sir? Of course I want him to say it to well, you. Well, then. But, Daddy, I know your tactful hints. Oh, come on. And I can do without them. Now, Terry. Anyway, I I'm in no hurry. I know that Pat loves me and he, he wants to marry me, but... Right now, he's telling himself that he can't support me properly. That's a ridiculous excuse. So what if you have to scrimp a little bit in the beginning? Those are the best years of a married life when you really need each other. Oh, honey, you just don't understand. The reason that Pat is hesitating is because he's just plain scared of marriage. 
But she aren't all men scared of marriage right up to the last minutes of the wedding? Of course they are, but after the ceremony is over, they're not frightened anymore. When the groom walks down the aisle with his lovely bride on his arm, an entirely new feeling sets in. Hmm. Yeah. Panic. <laughs> What you've done. Oh, honey, you don't. You'll ruin your makeup. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. That's what I'll do. I'll kill him. But his dying words will be, sir, may I see you in the library? <laughs> Watch and see. Daddy, don't you dare. You say one word to Pat and I'll never speak to you again. Now look, Gary. Daddy, promise me you won't say a word to him. No, what's the matter with a little hint? No, no hints. Not a word. Not one single solitary word. Oh, Daddy, please promise All me. right, I promise. I mean, really promise. All right, I really promise. I solemnly swear that not one word or will hint. come from the door hint. About Pat marrying you. About Pat marrying you. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Oh, big deal. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Otto. You're on the way up. Now, remember what I told you, huh? Okay. You all right? It's a sense. Don't worry. No, no, no. Listen to me. Remember, when I say don't butt in, that's when you come down. Okay. Don't butt in. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, dear. Hi, Daddy. How was the lunch, honey? Oh, just fine. Mm, good. Fine. It was wonderful. Believe me, Danny. From the moment we met, we couldn't take our eyes off one another. Wow, that's love. What love? We also forgot to eat lunch. <laughs> oh, comics, they're all the same. Soon as a little sentiment rears its head, they have to cut it off with a joke. Now, Terry, that's not true. I'm loaded with sentiment. After all, why do you suppose I forget to eat lunch? Why? Because you're my food and nourishment, honey. You're my... Liverwurst on an onion roll, my strawberry shortcake topped with whipped cream. <laughs> you're... You're... Yes, Pat. You're fattening. <laughs> what do you do with a guy like this? Oh, honey, don't ask me. When it comes to young people, I, I never butt in. <laughs> I say, uh, I've always made that a principle of mine, to never butt in. Daddy, there's something I have to ask oh, you. What, what is that, son? Well, uh, can, can we have a man-to-man -man talk? Well, what about? Girls. What about girls? That's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, son. Right after dinner, why don't you and I have a little conference up in your room, huh? Gee, thanks, Daddy. Not at all, boy. Boy, it's your swell having a father you can talk to man-to-man. -to -man. Well. Not like some of the other kids' fathers. Oh, I'm sure the other kids' fathers are nice, too, Russell. Yeah, but I guess they're just too old to talk to man to man. They, they just weren't smart enough to get married young, like you did. <laughs> yeah, well... And, and you've not only been a father to me, father, you've also been a pal, pal. <laughs> now, I'm glad I didn't eat lunch. Uh, well, I'll see you later, pal. Okay, pal. <laughs> <laughs> really, Daddy? Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> well, wh whatever it is, uh, I think you'd better wait till later, honey, and I don't know what it is, but later, huh? You mean you don't want me to ask you to teach me how to ice skate in the park? Uh, no, I, I don't think so, not now. Uh -huh. Isn't it wonderful to have a daddy who can teach you how to ice skate? <laughs> Never mind, Linda. We all know why you have such a wonderful daddy who can teach you how to ice skate. It's because he got married so young. No, it's because daddy's so healthy. What? You see, according to statistics recently compiled by the American Medical Association, married men are healthier and outlive single men by a wide margin. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, the obvious conclusion is that a man should get married when he's young. Yeah, yeah, because... yeah, that's all right, darling, sweetheart. <laughs> don't bother, Terry, with all that childish drivel. Why don't you go... <laughs> Oh, kids today, you know, you just wonder where, where, where they pick up uh, things like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poo! Do you want to see me in the library, young man? <laughs> well, let's stop this pussyfooting. And if you two are really serious about each other, why doesn't somebody do something about it? You mean dangling my daughter on the end of a string? Dangling your daughter on the end of a string? You heard me. I 
wasn't aware that our relationship was such a source of concern around here. I don't know what to say. Here, I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you better go, Pat. Well, maybe I better. I was only trying to help you. What's the matter? Didn't I hear Pat's voice? Is he gone already? He's gone forever! Oh, Kathleen! Oh, Danny, I warned you! Oh, come on, knock it off! Will you? It's not as bad as all that you're exaggerating the whole thing. No, it's not bad. It's worse. Oh, come on. I can't imagine anything as worse as it is. That's not it true. It couldn't be! It could be a lot worse. <laughs> Done yet! <laughs> What are you doing in New York? Oh, Daniel, what I've done for you Why? now. Oh, for this, you're gonna kiss me both my hands. Oh, ah, big favor, big so bright. Really? <laughs> Salim, don't stand out there. Come in. Uh, Salim, Terry, as official matchmaker, this family, this is proud moment for me. Meet Salim, your new husband. <laughs> It could be worse. <laughs> uh, I mean, Toulouse, I, 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 I know you said it, but would you just say it once more? <laughs> What's the matter with your ears, you deep? <laughs> I say, me, Terry's new husband, Selim here. Aloha, <laughs> 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 you feel. Cry, cry with happiness. Oh, it's happy day, huh, Daniel? No. Salim, come here, come here. Say hello to new bride. Hello, it's very It's nice. enough. <laughs> Not good to get too friendly before settle dowry. <laughs> dowry? Sure, dowry. Here, how much you give for fine, strong fella like Salim, huh? Come on. No, no, take off your coat, Salim. Sure. <laughs> Don't touch merchandise before finished deal. <laughs> oh, not every day you get a fella like this, huh? Look at him, smiling, happy all day long, strong like bull. Here, look around. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but, you know, you got to move fast, because already waiting in line is Cousin Sharife, Cousin Azize, Cousin Marianne, and Teje. Oh, come on, Aunt Teje is old enough to be his mother. She is his mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to lose wonderful son like this? <laughs> but enough talk, down to business. Uh, you give us $2,000 dowry for Salim here, huh? You are ridiculous. All right, Daniel, you know I love you. $1,900, but not a minute. Amit Anus, will you please stop it and listen to you? Sit well, down, sit down, will you? Down, down, down. Come, here, come over here. Well. Listen, Amit, you know I love you very much. I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> but your old country ideas about marriage is, I mean, it's, it's gone. It's a thing of the past. I've been through this with you a hundred times. Will you please do me a favor? Take your Salim and go. You mean you don't want your daughter Terry married with fine fella like Salim there? <laughs> ah, you say what you do, Danya, and you're breaking your own daughter's heart. Never mind, darling Terry. Uncle Tunus make deal yet. All right, cheapskate. $1,850. <laughs> but you rent this tuxedo. <laughs> you please stop it. Uncle Tunus, I, I don't think you understand. You see, Terry is not crying over Salim. Huh? Oh, gosh, you just couldn't have come at a worse time. What you say? I, I do something wrong? I mean, we both do something wrong. Huh? Look, Terry's in love with another boy. Oh. Boy she's been seeing for a couple of months now. And, and well, he loves her. But then he was a little slow in proposing, and then I went and butted in. Well, naturally. How come you wait two months? Well, <laughs> it wasn't any good, I assure you. It, it, it backfired, he got sore, he left, and Terry thinks it's forever, and now she's broken up. Oh, now I see. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Tanus arrive at bad time. That's right. Well, Tanus understand perfect. Oh. Tanus, you know, very sympathetic man. Of course. Girl who lose man she love need time to forget. That's right. Broken heart need time That's to heal. Right. That's right. So, all right, we come back tomorrow. Not tomorrow! <laughs> all right, how long is it going to take? Two days, three days? Oh, I'll meet some news. Broken oh. eyes don't heal overnight. Uncle Tanus, maybe I can explain. You okay, see... all right, put down back, Selene, explain. Well, you see, Terry and her boy are very much in love, and all of this is bound to blow over, and he'll be back, and they'll be married. Oh, well, Selene, pick up, eh? You're wrong, you're wrong. Daddy scared him away, and he'll never come back. Celine, put down bags. <laughs> I know he'll be back. Will you please give me a little credit for knowing how another man feels? If the boy loves you and I know Pat does, he will be back. All right, Celine, pick up bags. <laughs> but you don't know how stubborn he is, even more stubborn than you. More stubborn than Daniel? Put down bags! <laughs> oh, Terry, for heaven's sake, he'll be back. Of course he'll be back. I know he'll be back. I just know it. And how I know it. And how I know it. Come in, Pat. Sure. How did you know it was me? <laughs> Little bird told me. Here. There you are. There he is right here, huh? That, that, this young fella, she wants to marry? That's him. <laughs> <laughs> Terry. Terry, I want to talk to you and your father alone. There's nothing private in this house. It's like living in a fishbowl. No, Terry, this is well, very no private. If you want to wanna... talk, you're right. Sit down, Terry. Now you sit down, young man, and talk. Go on. If it's family matter, we are family. That's uh -oh. all. Talk. Pat, this no, is No, it takes too much time. Is... He wants to talk. Talk, talk, talk to him. <laughs> Two months you took already. Hurry up, talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, what your father said kind of made me realize I've been taking you for granted. I mean, you're very beautiful and you're very desirable, and, and well, what your father said hit me, Terry, and well, I know there's only one thing to do. Terry? Yes, Pat? I'm giving you up. <laughs> what? Yes, I am, honey. It's not fair. It's not fair for you to wait for me to make good throwing your youth away. I mean, if I get out of the picture, maybe some young guy will come along and you and he... Together, maybe in two years, if you have... All right, you guy, said goodbye, go. Go, go young man. <laughs> Come on, Terry. Uncle Tanus know what's good for you. Celine, wait a minute. It's, it's not good for you. He's not a faucet no. that can turn love on and off. Celine, do me a favor. Pick up the bags, please. Put down bags. I'm with Tanus now. Shut up, you. <laughs> and you talk like you know everything. I, Tanus, make 68 matches in my life. Not one divorce. Not one separation, even. And from these 68 marriages comes 425 children. <laughs> of which is at least 63 named Tanus after me. <laughs> that is good record. And you tell me that you want to argue with me about how to make matches. You want your daughter marry little shrimp like that? Now, wait a second, uh, you buddy. Sit down, you I'll know. sit down when I'm ready. Salute. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> this is man. This is nothing. <laughs> How many brothers you got? Brothers? Well, I, uh, I don't have any. I'm, I'm an only child. You mean from your mother and father is only you? Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of people! <laughs> you know how many children Salim's mother and father got? <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> hey, Marty, with him, could same thing happen to her, lucky girl? Oh, right, Terry. Shut up. You want scrawny husband with which you have maybe one child, scrawny child at that? You marry with Selim here. He got big farm. You have big, strong, healthy children. Ten, maybe twenty if you like. <laughs> Why don't you stop? Can't you see you're upsetting her with your King Kong here? <laughs> you be quiet. And don't you tell me who I'm interested in. Whether or not I'm interested in Salim is my business and not yours. Well, Terry, I was just... Salim, I, all I was trying to tell you is oh. that maybe this guy is just a... Why don't you do that? Why do you be a favor, Daniel? Hey, wait a minute. Ah. Wait a minute. I think you've got something here, Uncle Tanu. Well, now, come on, Danny. Why don't you yeah. stop with the thing? <laughs> 
says, as a matter of the more I think of it, the more I like it. It's very nice for a girl to marry a boy who has a farm. Stop the kidding, will you? Will you? Listen, are you? What is it with you? This is ridiculous. She doesn't even. Why don't you stop? St tell your father it's ridiculous, will you? Ridiculous that I might consider marrying someone else? Salim's quite a young man, you know, and he seems very sweet. You bet. You are sweet, aren't you, Salim? Huh. <laughs> sweet. He's sweet like Angel. He can lift a horse, but wouldn't hurt a fly. Are you kidding? She can't marry this guy. She's from a show business family. She can't live on a farm. Salim could be in show business. He could entertain. Salim, you remember that dance you do with cousin Aziza al uh, family picnic? Here, Kathy, you huh? dance with oh, Salim. I no, do show. I do show. He's a real entertainer. fit in very good with your business family. Well, I tell you something, I don't like it, and I'm not gonna stand for it. Just a moment, just a moment. Don't be making big noises. What do you mean you're not gonna stand for it? Just a moment ago, you wanna get out of her life, so she, she, you could be free. All of a sudden, you're taking everything for granted. Well, Danny, I don't like it. What don't you like, Pat? Yeah, what don't you like, Yeah, Pat? what don't you like, Pat? <laughs> well, I don't like you thinking I'm stupid enough to think that you're gonna marry your daughter off to a guy she doesn't know. Guy she's got nothing in common with. I don't like this whole charade you're putting on for my benefit. I don't like you trying to think you can con me into asking Terry that I'll marry her. I don't like it one bit. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's so, but I'll tell you what I don't like the most. I think you've said enough, son. I haven't, Danny. Listen, the thing I don't like the most was well, the idea of losing Terry. I don't think you were conning me with the Selene marrying Terry thing. I, but just the same, I suddenly realized what Losing Terry would be like. Sooner or later, some guy's gonna come along and he's gonna hold her hand and look in her eyes. And I don't like a guy holding her hand and looking in her eyes. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it a bit. Well, what do you propose to do about it? <laughs> well, I propose to propose. <laughs> May I speak to you in the library, sir? Salim, I perfectly welcome you, know that? Uh, what's to stay around for? I came to make much, I make mishmash. I'm failure. Wait, how can, how can you say a thing like that? As a matter of fact, you know, you, you did make this match. Huh? Oh, you're still batting a thousand, Unc. Huh. If it wasn't for you, Pat wouldn't have proposed to Terry. At least not so soon. There, you see? Uh, wait a minute, I did make that now, much. Of course you, you did. Fella. Oh, That's right. Lord. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have been engaged. All right, but not so fast. We talk about dowry. What dowry? <laughs> you said I made the match, Of huh? course you did. My match is his dowry, uh, $3,000. $3,000 for him? You, you said 2000 for him. But well, this is artistic, sensitive, elegant young gentleman. <laughs> Salim is horse. Three thousand dollars. <laughs> Stop fooling around, huh? You change your mind, you give me telephone call. Uh, Uncle Tanous, I don't want a dowry. I don't need any money. You be Salim. Uncle, will you stop? Uh, oh, you change your mind, then bring it. I think the law against that is right. The least right. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 